In this video, we will see how to connect the ground plane to the track. First make a duplicate of the ground plane and the race track for backup and hide them. Now select the ground plane, make sure to apply all modifiers you are using on it, and go to edit mode. Select the knife tool and cut the plane along the outer perimeter of the track as shown. If the cursor doesn't snap to a vertex, avoid overlapping the vertex, because it may form two vertices at the same place, and will be very difficult to correct. Now select all the faces, outside the cut that you just made on the ground. Start by selecting the faces at the border first, and then select the rest of the faces of the ground. Check for small triangles close to the cut. Make sure to select them. Now press P, and click on selection. This will separate the selected part of the ground from the unselected part. Go back to object mode, then select the ground and then the track, and then press Ctrl plus J. Now select the combined object and go to edit mode. Select all the edges of the race track and increase the mean crease level to 1. Now connect the ground to the racetrack, by creating faces between the edges as shown.
If you see such weird textures don't worry, they will get fixed, when we will unwrap the UV map. Select all the new faces that you made, and assign a new grass material to them. In the shading window, select the grass material you had previously created, select all the nodes and copy them. Now select the new grass material that you just created, delete the existing nodes, and paste the copied nodes. Now select the rest of the faces of the ground, and assign the grass material to it. Do not deselect the faces after this, because we have to unwrap them. Now go to the UV editing window and press U and then select unwrap. Now the textures will be properly mapped. Now you can change the textures, scale, and other properties to your liking. If you found this video helpful, consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel.